Ciao, fellow handheld enthusiasts, and welcome! 27 March 2023 marked a very dark, very bitter day for all the 3DS fans. The closure of its eShop. But as it often is the case, good things are coming from the bad things. And it is no different in here. We have lost one feature, but we have gained two more. So, let's get into it. One would say serendipity. I say inevitability. With the nature of eShops, it is just a matter of time until a company decides to pull a plug and to show a middle finger to all its fanbase. And that's exactly where modders come to the rescue. Your sorrows are gone in seconds with the simple scan of one QR code. Oh, I almost forgot the disclaimer. Clearly, this video is for educational purposes only and it is meant to encourage you to be happy in your real life. So please, be happy and I'm sure FreeHS will help you to bring some light into the darkness of your non-working official eShop. FreeHS, that's the app we are talking about today. It is a 3DS client for the HShop, the unofficial eShop. Main features are access to games, updates, DLCs, virtual console, DSiWare, videos and themes from all the regions, even to region free stuff, via very simple and user-friendly menus, directly from within your 3DS. There are even some extras, like ROM hacks, our beloved homebrews, and some translated games. It supports various languages, Russian, Portuguese, German, Italian, plus many more. It has ability to scan for and install missing updates for already installed games. It can also resume downloads interrupted by poor signal. And it can also queue multiple titles in a row, so you don't need to select it manually each time. On top of that, you can even create your own theme or background audio. I'm fine with the simple dark theme, but I do really need some catchy audio for proper homebrew experience. And what better to choose than the iconic tunes from PS Vita Store? I think this music is quintessential store soundtrack and it would suit even to Xbox or Switch eShop. What do you think? As you may have noticed, this video is not a tutorial, there are other videos for that. This video is purely a showcase of this amazing app and of all the goodness it can offer you. Plus, we are also trying to avoid ninjas, of course. So, the installation is a breeze. Don't forget to jailbreak your 3DS first, because it doesn't work with stock firmware, obviously. If you are into numbers, here are some for you. 1.71 terabytes of content, 12,163 titles, of which 8,771 are completely legit. Believe it or not, my 3DS was modded for a very nice while, but I've never installed the new FreeHS client, nor did I use HShop on my PC. Actually, I never knew it even existed, because back in the day, you've just downloaded CIA from shady website, installed it via FBI and called it a day. But this is on the next level. And judging by this comment under my latest short, Many of you also got no idea it exists even now in 2023. But yes, it does, and it's awesome. And now when I got it, I don't understand how could I live without it for so long. There is so much content that ideally you want to know exactly what you are looking for. Otherwise, you will be just browsing it in awe with the mouth wide open, same like I did. Then you're going to install something random, which you end up deleting soon afterwards. And let me tell you, to delete something on 3DS, is a pain in the ass. Nintendo surely didn't make it any easy for us, thank god for FBI. On the PS Vita we got a similar app, it is called PKGJ and you can also get there all the PS Vita, PSP, PS1, PS Mobile games, plus themes, DLCs, online passes and whatnot. On the HShop you can get also the additional ROM hacks, translations and some basic homebrews, which is great. I believe PKGJ rely on official Sony servers, whereas HShop doesn't. That means HShop is also more future-proof, cause even though PKGJ will work even after Sony shuts the store down, it won't be working indefinitely. When they shut the servers down too in 10 years time, it will be gone forever. But I'm sure PS Vita fans will figure it out and find a way until then. 3DS has one big advantage, that the games are much smaller than PS Vita games. I wouldn't dare to guess how many terabytes one would need to preserve all the Vita, PSP, PS1 games from all the regions. They are technically preserved on all the different ROM sites, but that's for different kind of discussion. Now to my final thoughts. I'm super glad we have this HShop initiative, especially considering the crazy inflated prices everybody's asking for 3DS games nowadays. 
I'm absolutely fine with digital games only that are archived on my SD card and hard drive. My whole physical 3DS collection consists of three games. Super Mario 3D Land, Resident Evil Revelation and Dead or Alive Dimensions. And I'm not planning to buy any more anytime soon. You cannot even support developers anymore by buying physical games cause the only one who's making profit out of it is the reseller or pawn shop and I'm not definitely supporting them. The ability to access all regions is priceless. You couldn't even do it on the official eShop cause 3DS is region locked. And we all know what hoops you need to jump through to purchase games from different regions for Nintendo Switch for example. It's definitely not as simple as you might think. In my opinion this is an essential must have app that every 3DS owner needs to install. Jailbreaking a 3DS in 2023 is incredibly easy and that's the only hurdle holding you back from enjoying your 3DS as it was intended without any limits. HShop has grown from the side project to the ultimate 3DS preservation service without running any ads or without charging for access. And this is the way its creators want to continue going forward. Therefore if you find any pleasure using it consider donating to cover operational costs cause uh, they are not negligible. You can find all the information on their website, link is down below. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more like this, like and subscribe. Thanks to you for watching, thanks to developers for hard work and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.